Hey guys, what we're going to be doing here today is installing blue water LEDs on my 2018 Nitro Z18. Um, I started doing the install yesterday. I got the front deck, um, the lights mounted, and I uh, did not do the wiring yet. I stopped there. I've been getting some questions from um, friends and uh, some guys on forums that I'm on um, regarding the install and how easy it is. So I decided to stop and make a video of the rest of the install just to kind of give you an idea how it's done. It is a very simple process, um, definitely something most of us can do on our own and uh, you know save ourselves a, a, a pretty good amount of money if you take a, your boat to a marina or a bass pro or somewhere like that to have this done um, you're gonna get charged an arm and a leg um, f you know just for their labor fees to do the work for you it is a little time-consuming because of the running of the wires and things but it's not hard by any means um, it's something that most of us can do so what I'm gonna do is um, I have everything laid out here that we need I'll go over the stuff um, as we're making the video um, you know uh, every, everything that we need to, to do the install um, I'm gonna pause the video I'm gonna jump up in the boat I'll show you what I've what I've done already on the front deck um, and then we'll get to the back deck I haven't touched the back deck yet I haven't started that yet at all um, so again I'll, I'll just very briefly show you what I've done on the front already and then we'll get to the back and uh, we'll go over the wiring and basically everything from start to finish that you'll need to know um, to do this yourself so um, so yeah, hang tight, and I'm going to pause the video here, jump up in the boat, and uh, show you what I've done so far. Okay, guys, what you're looking at is the front deck, obviously. Um, what I've done so far is um, I have three strips of LEDs on each side. Um, I have the 20-inch the strip um, that I went down to, the 12-inch strip, and an 8-inch strip up in the front. Um, I pretty sure you could see them in the video I did the same thing on both sides you can see the 8 inch strip up there 12 inch strip 20 inch strip there um, all you need to do is of course before you do anything um, you know decide where you want to mount the wire or I'm sorry the strips and uh, the next step before you do any kind of drilling or anything you want to um, open up your your lockers and you know you want to look up underneath where you're going to be drilling just to make sure you're not going to be drilling into any wires or anything um, so you can kind of see hopefully in the video the the black and red wires hanging down um, that's where I drilled through the gunnel obviously and uh, you know that's where the wires are coming down you know to be connected and ran to power so again before you drill anything of course take a look um, you know up uh, in the compartments one thing about these nitros I can tell you you know it may be the same for all of the the boat brands but nitro makes it super easy to um, to run these wires that you have plenty of space in these compartments and it's very simple uh, to run these wires in in, in this nitro um, lots of space makes it very easy to do as far as drilling um, again I'm gonna show you on the back deck I'll actually show you when I drill a um, couple little tips um, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to stop right there, actually. I don't want to get ahead of myself. Biggest tip to remember, I can tell you, is before you do any kind of drilling, um, first thing you want to do is kind of lay the lights out on the deck, you know, decide where you want to get them, uh, where you want to place them, and then, you know, the next step is the drilling, of course. What I did on the front deck here, too, um, I started in the front, and so what I did to make sure they're even you want to pick something to start uh, like a starting point and use your tape measure and what I did was I measured from the the light to the to the very first spot where I drilled on both sides just to make sure they're they're dead on and accurate um, you know as far as spacing and then all I did was I measured from the tip of the 8 inch strip to the next hole where I drilled and matched it on the other side and then again all the way down the line to the to the, to the 20 inch the third strip there um, so you know measure measure twice make sure you're you're good before you do any kind of drilling or anything um, pretty simple um, so that's what we did so far on the front deck um, again I did not connect any of the wiring yet I just uh, basically you know drilled the holes mounted the strips and um, you know have the have the wiring run into the compartments um, I'm not going to open this compartment here obviously I have everything laid out there but it's it looks the same as the passenger side I'm sorry as the driver side that I just showed you um, you know the wires are just hanging down into the compartment um, you know waiting to be connected so so all right we're gonna go back onto the back deck and I'll show you exactly you know how I measure and uh, what we do you know to get these things placed there's a couple little tips I will give you uh, to make it look you know nice and neat and clean um, as clean as possible of an install um, obviously you're you know you're spending 
pretty good money on these things. You want it to look nice and uh, clean and professional. So I'll give you a couple little tips on that. So I'm going to pause the video again, and we'll get back to the back deck, and we'll get started. All right, guys, we're on the back deck. The back deck here. Um, I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do on the back here is I'm gonna have a 20-inch strip on the side and a 10-inch strip um, on the back here. Um, I, hopefully, this, the lighting on this is okay. The lighting in this part of my garage is not the best in the back here. So I have a headlamp on. I'm hoping you guys can see this uh, okay. Um, couple tips that I mentioned earlier that I wanted to, that I wanted to go over. Um, again, before you drill any kind of hole, make sure you line it up, get it positioned exactly where you want it. Um, I'm going to use, I try to find something on the boat that I can use to kind of center it and that I can duplicate on the other side. Obviously, this piece right here, uh, you know, you can clearly use that on both sides and use that as a, a centering piece to make sure that this strip um, and the other strip on the other side of the boat match perfectly uh, as far as their location. Um, so, you know, check that out, get it positioned perfectly where you want it. The other tip, uh, as I already mentioned, before you drill any holes, of course, open up the compartment, take a look up underneath there, make sure you're clear to drill your hole. Um, I do have some wiring underneath there, but it's down lower. I'm going to be able to clear it easily so I can drill my hole, um, you know, right here without a problem. The lights, you want to position them. Um, right, ab right above, basically on top of the trim strip here. That's where you want these lights positioned. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you know, get this strip where I want it. I'm going to take my sharpie, make my hole um, where I'm going to drill for the wires to go through. And that's the last tip I'm going to give you is the wiring on the back of these strips. Uh, Blue Water, the LED strips, they have these blue. Or I'm sorry, these black caps. Uh, they're like rubber caps, I guess. Uh, for lack of a better word, that uh, that's on both ends. The the end with the wiring. I actually got this tip off of a Blue Water video, you know, from right from the Blue Water company. Um, on the back, if you can take your scissors and notch out. Hopefully, this shows up. I notched out a little piece of this black. Um, I'm going to get it as close to the camera as possible so you can hopefully see it. That was, you know, a solid one piece like that. I took my scissors and I notched it down. The reason for doing that is, and this is kind of an important tip to get this to look as, as neat and professional as possible. When you mount this to the boat, when I mount it like this up against the boat, without doing that, the wires are going to be like this and you're going to be able to see some of the wiring. But by notching that back out like that, when you mount this, the wires are actually going to be able to bend in, and you are not going to see those wires at all. Um, it's a huge help. I did it on the front deck, and it, it looks awesome. Um, you know, you, you really cannot see the wiring. It's You have to be on top of it to see any wiring at all. So just a little tip to help make it look, you know, a little bit neater and cleaner and more professional. Um, so just keep that in mind when you're when you're doing it. So... I'm going to drill my hole. Um, I'm going to pause the video here. You know, as far as drilling, you know, again, I use the 1 8 size um, uh, drill bit. It's the perfect size for this 18 gauge wire to go through. Um, you know, when you're drilling, some guys get nervous going through fiberglass. I don't use painter's tape or anything. You know, if you talk to five different guys, you're going to get five different opinions on how the what the right way to do this is. I literally just take my 1 8 drill bit. Um, you know, I put maybe medium pressure and uh, drill straight through. I have not had any problems with it, with the fiberglass or the paint chipping or spidering or anything like that at all. Um, so that's that's all I do. I don't do anything fancy as far as the drilling goes. Um, so again, I'm just going to get this lined up, make my mark, drill my hole, and then I'll uh, feed the wires through and we'll go from there. Okay guys, I got the first uh, 20 inch strip mounted right here on the side as you can see. Um, I just wanted to show you, you know, kind of how it looks. Um, again, I have it mounted right up against that trim. Um, and as you can see down here in the compartments, um, the wire's hanging down right there, ready to be hooked up to the rest of the circuit and to power. Um, so I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna mount this 10 inch strip back here and actually leave the camera on as I drill, just again so you can see I don't do anything special. Um, as far as using like tape or anything to try to keep the fiberglass cracking, I have had no issues with that whatsoever. So I'm actually going to just kind of let you watch me do this one, um, just so you can see. Um, I've already, before I turn the camera back on, I already measured here. Um, I put the light where I want it. I put a little sharpie dot right there. That's where my hole is going to be. Um, the only thing I have left to do, um, again, I'll do this on video. I'm going to notch the back of that. So you're just going to 
notch it on both sides. And again, what that does is it allows that wire to, to fold back, so you're not going to be able to see the wire once I um, once I get it mounted to the boat. So now that I know where the hole is going to be, I've already cleaned this with uh, rubbing alcohol as well. So I'll show you what I'm going to do. Um, again, I just take my drill, get it right there on the spot where I want my hole and just apply medium pressure. The other thing too, I also, I don't just, I don't go full force with the drill as far as the speed. Um, you'll see here in the video what I do. I kind of just drill very slowly with just kind of medium pressure and it goes right through without a, without a problem. So here we go. So there you go. It's as easy as that, no trouble at all. Before I do anything else, I take my vacuum and just kind of clean up the... Clean up the pieces real quick and uh, that's all there is to it. I'll take my rag and just kind of wipe that down um, one more time. And uh, again, I just wanted to do that on video just to kind of show you that, you know, again, I don't do anything special as far as the drilling. I don't use painter's tape or anything like that, um, like some guys will recommend. Uh, so that's totally up to you, however you want to do the drilling part. Me personally, I don't do anything special, and I have not had a single problem with it at all um, up to this point. So again, for this part, all we're going to do... Take both of our wires, and this is for every light, I'll just kind of do this part on video. You just kind of feed them through. And again, that 1 8 size drill bit, perfect size. As you can see, they go through relatively easily, um, but there's not a whole lot of extra room there. Um, again, it's the perfect size for this 18 gauge wire. So you just want to work that through there. Again, hope, I'm hoping you guys can see this because of the lighting. I do have my headlamp on here. I apologize if it's not. The lighting is not the best. So we're just feeding all the way through. Before I mount the strip, I'm actually going to take a peek underneath... The other thing is too, you want to pay attention to, as you can see, that the strip is going to be laying like this. The red is on top of the black, so as you're feeding through, try to feed it through that way so there's no twists in it. It'll, again, it'll just make it mount a little bit um, neater and flusher. Um, so let me just, before I actually peel the strip off and place this light, let me just take a peek underneath my compartment, make sure I can easily get at the wire. which I can, I see it hanging down. So we are good to go ahead and place this. And again, all you're gonna do for the bigger lights, um, what I usually do for the this 3M strip, um, I'll only remove uh, a part of it for these smaller lights. I'll just remove the whole, the whole red strip if I can get it off. Of course, the one I'm going to show you guys is the one I'm going to have trouble getting the strip off. There we go. All right. So again, I just peel the whole back off. This is this is a smaller light. This is only a 10-inch light uh, strip. So I just remove the whole back. Make sure all that wire is fed through. And as you can see, again, going back to why I notched the back of that black rubber piece off, as you can see in the video, you cannot see the wires at all. If I didn't do that, the wires would be... Again, I'm hoping this shows up in the video, but you'd be able to see the wires a little bit. By notching that back out, it allows you to go just like that. And again, you cannot see those wires 
at all. So we're just gonna kind of start placing it, making sure we're down against the trim strip, applying pressure as we go across until the whole strip is placed. And then I just kind of go back a couple more times with my fingers, just applying some pressure, making sure um, it's tightly in place there. The other thing, guys, too, uh, you want to do this, this probably goes without saying, but just so you know, you want to do this in, um, I believe Blue Water recommends 65 degrees or more. Um, thankfully, my garage is heated, so right now I have it at 65 degrees to do this. Um, it makes the lights more pliable, helps with the sticking, um, so just keep that in mind as well. If you don't have a heated garage or you know, you're know you somewhere, if the boat's outside, it's cold, you might not want to do this um, in that uh in that in those conditions so uh, blue water recommends I believe 65 degrees minimum to do this um, and again it just makes the lights more pliable and um, it makes it helps with the sticking so so that's all there is to it um, so that's the the driver side of the back deck is done now um, again the wiring is down in the compartments we'll get to that part um, I'm gonna get the other two strips on the other on the passenger side done um, and then uh, we'll get to um, to wire it. Okay guys, just a quick little update on where we're at. Um, right now I have all of the lights uh, mounted and wires um, into the compartments. So next step is gonna be wiring. Just kinda wanna give you a little picture of what we've done so far. So we'll just take a little scan. Front deck obviously, three lights as we mentioned. On the passenger side, three lights on the driver side and again I just want to stress um, if you look right there where the wires go in that's exactly why I tell you to notch out the little piece in the back you cannot see those wires at all that's about as clean of an install as you can get um, you know you can't see them wires whatsoever it's nice and that's about as professional looking as you can get um, wires are all down into the compartments as you can see there's the wires from the front, the middle, and the rear. Rod locker on the other side looks the same. Um, we've also, I didn't get this on video, but I also mounted 10-inch um, strips underneath uh, both seats, driver's seat and passenger seat, just to give the... Uh, the floor space down here a little bit of lighting we also mounted um, one of blue waters I believe they call these submersible lights um, it's just a four uh, LED light in the cooler compartment and also two in the live well one on each side hopefully you can see it there and then on the other side, same thing. And then the rear lights are done as well. You have the 20 inch strip there, 10 inch strip on the back, same thing on both sides. So that's where we're at right now. Um, we are ready to do the wiring part. Um, so at this point, uh, I'm gonna pause the video again. When I pick back up with you, um, I'll show you how I'm gonna do the wiring, where I'm gonna start. Um, and how I'm going to connect them all and uh, that'll be it and the last step will be installing the dimmer switch and uh, the, the inline fuse and then to the battery and we're all done okay guys we're on to the wiring part of the video um, for this part all you're going to need are um, there's several different ways to connect the wiring I like to use the butt connectors um, they're the red ones 18 to 22 gauge uh, heat shrink butt connectors um, wire strippers of course electrical tape a uh, good set of crimpers um, and uh, maybe some needle nose pliers. I don't know if we're going to need those or not. I already started doing the passenger side here, um, so I'm going to show you what I did. Um, if you remember, I have the 20 inch strip, the 12 inch strip, and then the 8 inch strip up the front. So if we pop open the, the rod locker here, I'll show you what I've done so far. Pretty simple installation with the wiring. 
It's a little bit of a pain in the butt to run, but it's it's easy to do. Just a little time consuming, I should say. So these two wires here, that these two are coming down, the red and the black are coming down from the 20 inch LED. What I did is I take them into one side of the butt connectors, crimp them down nice and tight, make sure it's a nice secure connection. Um, and then out the other side of the butt connectors, this red and black wire hanging down up from up here, that's from the middle LED strip, the 12 inch strip. This set of black and red wires, this is, um, uh, you have to cut this to whatever length you're going to need. This is from the installation wire that Blue Water will give you. So into this side of the butt connector here, I have the black and I have uh, the black and red going into um, the butt the the correct butt connectors. Um, obviously, you're going to want to connect red to red. So um, you know, for example, this butt connector here, I have the red wire coming from the 20 inch strip. Out the other end is the red wire of the 12 inch strip and the red wire from that's going to take us to the next LED. Um, you can, even though these are, you know, we're dealing with 18 gauge wire, you can get two different, if you take the, the LED wires and then the extra wire that you have to cut to size, if you like twist them together, you still can get them in the 18 gauge butt connector and then crimp it down nice and tight. Um, so they're heat shrink butt connectors, as I mentioned. So once I connect them, um, you know, get the wires in there, you crimp them down and then I'll, I'll use either a heat gun or a lighter and, you know, heat shrink it. It gives it a nice waterproof, uh, watertight seal. I still use electrical tape even after doing that. It just gives it one extra, you know, um, safety measure there to make sure it's a good, uh, nice, solid connection. So once you have that done, all you're going to do is just go light to light to light. So you're going to take, um, again, 20 inch strip wires, 12 inch strip wires, the extra wire that you have to cut to whatever length you're going to need. Those wires that I cut, they take us up to the next LED, the next light in um, succession. However, you know, you're going to do your lights. Um, you know, the next light for me is that front, the, uh, the eight inch strip. So what I do, what I did, um, hopefully you can see this. I know the lighting is not the best in this compartment here, but so these two wires here, the red and the black, that's coming from what I just showed you. Um, the wire that you have to cut to size into two different butt connectors. I did not electrical tape these yet. Um, I just wanted you to kind of see what I did before I electrical tape them. Um, so they come into one side of the butt connectors. Out the other side is exactly the same as we did with the other one. Yeah, you're going to have two black wires, two red wires. Um, one set is coming from the next LED. The, these go up to um, that 8-inch strip. This set of wires, the black and red, is going to go to the other side of the boat. In my case, it's going to be going over to the 8-inch strip on the other side. Um, again, nitro gives you a lot of room, makes it easy. It was pretty easy to run these over straight across the bow. Um, you know, the other thing before I go any further too is once once I have all this done, I am going to clean this up a little bit. I'm not going to leave these hang wires hanging down like this. There's other wires up underneath here that I'm going to zip tie them to. You know, just so you know, you don't want them hanging down in the way. You know, whatever works best for you, but you want to kind of make it look nice and neat. Get them zip tied to something so they're not hanging down. Um, so again, back to these wires that I ran straight across the bow. I'll show you exactly where they're coming out. Here it is right here. It's into my other compartment. So what I'm going to do is exactly the same as we've been, what I've been showing you. Um, these are the wires from the 8-inch strip on the driver's side. So I'm going to connect with this wiring and, uh, you know, exactly the way we did on the other side with butt connectors and then come down to the next strip. Um, th these wires right here hanging down from the 12-inch the strip in the middle on the driver's side and then down to the 20-inch strip. And then from there we'll be going into the... Um, into the dash where the the dimmer switch uh, dimmer switch is going to be, and uh, you know we'll, we'll connect. I'll show you how to connect that and get that to the battery. So that's all there is to it. Um, really, again, not hard. Um, use those butt connectors. There are other ways of doing it. You know, you could use electrical tape. You could use some guys use wire nuts. Um, some guys solder. You can do it however you want it. For me, I find the butt connectors uh, work really well. It's a nice solid connection, um, especially if you get the heat, the heat shrink um, kind. You know, once you crimp them wires down and heat shrink it, electrical tape it, those wires aren't going anywhere, and you have a nice wa uh, watertight seal there. So, all right, so I'm going to pause the video again here, and uh, I'm going to finish um, 
the driver side install here uh, in the wiring and once I get all that done and we're ready to um, actually I'm sorry I'll, the next step I'll show you the back deck after I do all this um, I'll show you how, how I have the back deck wired and then we'll go to the dimmer switch and then to the battery so okay guys we finished up the front deck um, what I did was all the, the wires are connected from um, the 8 inch strip down to the 12 to the 20 from the 20 inch strip I drilled a hole up in the top, the very top corner up in here, that's gonna take you into the dash. Of course, be very careful when you're drilling, double check, triple check, where you're gonna come out, you know, when you're drilling. Um, I drilled a hole right there and it came out, I'll show you where it came out underneath the dash, pretty much perfect. Um, in the back corner, way back in the back upper corner up there, um, perfect, you can't see it. You know, nobody will ever, ever even know the wiring is there. Um, so that's the wiring coming from the front deck. Now for the back deck, what we are gonna do, what I did was, I started with, um, I have a light up underneath the, the passenger seat and the driver's seat. So I started over here with the passenger seat. I mounted the strip here. I ran the wiring underneath the seat so you can't see it. It's a nice clean install. Um, and then I drilled a hole for the wiring to come into the, to the compartment here. Be very careful when you're drilling that hole. The gas tank is underneath the seats here. As you can see, this is the gas tank right here. Um, see if I can get a little bit of light. The gas tank is right here. So when you're drilling the hole, you can see where mine came out. Um, you know, nice, way clear of the gas tank. Um, so what I did was I ran that wiring from the, the strip that's underneath the passenger seat up to the 20 inch strip right there. And then you can't see the wiring because I've already zip tied it. We did the same exact thing on the back deck as we did in the front deck. I wasn't going to show you the wiring again. Um, we used the buck connectors. We did it exactly the same way. Um, so then we ran wiring from the 20 inch strip back to the 10 inch strip, which I have um, in the back corner here. So on the back deck, I only have the 20 inch strip here, 10 inch strip there. And then I have wiring you can see this, you can see, because this is the only thing I didn't zip tie yet. Um, the, the wiring coming from this corner, 10 inch strip, over to the 10 inch strip on the driver side corner, which again, you can see back, back there in the corner. Um, from that strip, we came to the next 20 inch strip right there. And then from that 20 inch strip, we ran the wiring um, for the, the light that's underneath my seat, the driver's seat. So from there, um, it got a little bit tricky. <laughs> you have to somehow snake, and I, I, what I ended up doing was I ended up using a hanger. It worked out well for me. I just made the edge, I just made sure the edges weren't sharp. You know, of course you want to make sure you don't puncture anything or scratch anything or, you know, damage any wiring that's already existing in there. But what I did was I used a hanger to go from to take the wiring from back here in that corner, you have to run it up through the gunnel. You do have to take out um, take out the eight screw, or I'm sorry, I think there's ten screws that hold this uh, your, your shift knob in place. This whole uh, piece here, take those out, and the wiring you can run through, you know, behind there, up through here, and then to get it to come out underneath the dash, you actually have to there's a little opening right up there where you can see all the wiring coming out there. Um, so that's what I had to do. That's a little bit tricky. Again, I used a hanger. It's a little bit of a pain in the butt. Not hard. You know, it just takes a little time to do it. And, you know, again, be careful. Um, you don't want to damage anything that's already there. So now once you have, once I had that done, what I did, um, the wiring from the front deck that I showed you coming out uh, from that corner up there, and then the wiring that was coming out from the rear deck, you then have to connect those, and then you're gonna take it to your switch. Um, right now, the way I have mine hooked up, I have it on a push button switch, and then a dimmer. Um, so to turn my lights on, I have to push this button here, and I'm sure you just saw the blue lights come out in the background, I'll show you what they look like um, in a second. But once I, once I push that switch, I then have it on a dimmer, where I can dim them way down and again I'll show you I'm sure you could see the blue lights in the background going dim and coming back on um, so again I have it on a push button and a dimmer um, you can do just a dimmer if you wanted to um, I just prefer it this way you know just a personal preference no big deal um, I'll show you exactly where I mounted the the dimmer switch 
Um, the push button switch, I, this is the only, again, I have to zip tie that tie, uh, around that wire in the back compartment there, and then I just have to clean up all this wiring here. I'm going to zip tie it up underneath so you'll, you'll never even know it's there. That's all I have left to do. Uh, but for the, the dimmer switch, what I did was I drilled a hole right here. I believe it was a one-eighth, I'm sorry, one-half inch. Um, all I did was I matched it to um, the, the knob sticking out here. Um, so I mounted it right here, and then, of course, this is the knob. Just pops right on there. So it looks nice and clean. You know, it's it looks very, very neat and clean, which is definitely what I was going for. So, um, you know, again, I've said it before, but you spend all the money on these things. You want it to look nice and professional and clean. So, so that's pretty much the install. Um, I'm sorry, the only other thing you do have to do is once you come to the switch, you do have to run another set of wires back to um, the, the battery, of course. Um, that's, I almost forgot the most important part. Um, so once you, again, basically you're just going to reverse your steps. You're going to take the wiring. That's why you see three steps, or I'm sorry, three sets of wiring here. The, the one set coming from the front deck, the one set coming from the back deck, and then this set is going back to the battery. So you, again, you just have to trace your steps, um, you know, go up through there and run it down through the gunnel and then back into the battery compartment. I of course have mine hooked up to the cranking battery. Um, back in there so um, so that's that's it I mean it's a again pretty easy install I hope I made it as clear as possible for you is um, you know I, I know it's kind of a long video um, but it's kind of a lot to cover especially I, I made this video more for people who really don't know um, you know how to do this at all I, you know I know some of this may be uh, silly for some guys who you know know a little bit about running wiring and things like that but I wanted to try to make it easy um, for you know guys who have never done this before so um, So that's that's pretty much it feel free to ask any questions uh, you know post any concerns I Don't claim to be an expert at this by any means um, You know I do know what I'm doing of course, but I, I don't you know my way isn't the only way of doing things So if you have any uh, questions comments concerns feel free to leave them in uh, the comments section there um, I'm gonna turn the lights out and uh, I'll show you what they look like now that they're installed um, you know, and, uh, again, thanks for watching the video and, uh, feel free to comment any questions uh, or concerns. Thanks a lot, guys. I'm going to turn the lights out here and I'll show you what they look like. Alright, hopefully you guys liked the video, I hope it was informative, and uh, I hope you feel comfortable doing this on your own. Um, but I wanted to cover one thing real quick, I know when I was making the video, the lighting wasn't the best sometimes in the compartments, and me holding the camera myself made it a little bit tough. So I wanted to make sure everybody understood how to go from light to light to light um, in the circuit. So, what I have here on the deck um, is three lights. Uh, this is one of my trailer lights, and then two other older lights that I had just laying around. So what what did what you got to do is pick a starting point. Um, as you guys saw in the video on the front deck, I started with the 20 inch strip on the passenger side. That was our first light. So let's pretend this light is that light. Um, all you're going to do is take the red wire from your first light, which, whichever one you decide that's going to be, run the red wire into one end of the butt connector like that, crimp it down, heat uh, heat shrink it, and then out this end you're going to have two red wires. You're going to have the red wire from your next light and then you also have to take this wiring here blue water sends it in a 20 foot roll it's just 18 gauge wire that's all it is um, if you don't get any from blue water you can pick it up anywhere um, so you're gonna take cut this to, to, to length whatever length you need to go from this connection to the connection between the next set of lights whatever size that is cut it so out of this end of this butt connector, you're going to have two red wires. And what you're going to do, you're going to take the red wire from your second light and the red wire from the wire you're going to cut to size, twist them together, 
just like you, you would do with any kind of um, wiring connection, and then stick that in the other end of this butt connector. So it's going to look like that. You're going to have one red wire coming out of this side from your first LED, then out of this side you're going to have two red wires. One goes to your next LED, uh, I'm sorry, one goes to your second LED, This, the other red wire coming out of this side will go to the third LED in the circuit. So all that means is you're going to take the end of the wire that you cut, you're going to run it to another butt connector, put the red in the butt connector in that end, and then you're going to take your third LED and you're going to connect it and to the other side of the butt connector. Now if you had more LEDs in the circuit, you would do exactly what we did with the first connection. You'd have another red wire coming out of this end um, going to the next LED. Um, so you'd repeat that process for the black as well. Um, I just wanted to go over that real quick because again, I know the lighting and, and me holding the camera wasn't the best at times in the video. Um, so that's how you complete the circuit of running from light to light to light. Um, hopefully that makes a little more sense. Um, so I want to thank you guys for watching the video. I appreciate it. I know it's a little bit long, but again, I really want to stress the fact that I, I hope I made it simple enough for anybody of any experience level to be able to watch my video and feel comfortable doing the install, you know, anything from drilling the holes, placing the lights, running the wiring, uh, whatever it may be. I hope you guys found it uh, inform um, informative and, uh, and helpful. Feel free to message me with any uh, questions, concerns, comments. Um, and again, I appreciate you watching. So uh, thanks a lot, guys. Have a good one.